always gonna Even be more. Today, don't certain words don't say. I can't say shoot him. Not really, but no. it's too late. You already said. It. I didn't say the K word. You know, man. You said the first few seconds, so they oh, didn't already been more. The computer didn't already ban you. I can't you. say gun violence. Not in the first few. The first minute of, oh, of the video, you oh, can't okay. say any of that stuff. Okay. So you 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 the uh, computer's uh, worst nightmare at the beginning, especially when it's your top your topic. Every show, Lenore finds a way to make us not um, the computer not spread our videos. So they would have picked that word up and yes. said that's not going okay. mm -hmm. to every every show she finds a way and the reason before why we, before the beginning and the end no, of the that's show that's not true no <laughs> yeah. because every show y'all can all y'all can be my witness it, now time for another one that's how before. i start off yes yeah and then you start saying what we're going to talk about a lot has happened and everybody right like, right so i don't give a chance to say that <laughs> word so i should have started <laughs> off with my thing yeah welcome to, to another, another <laughs> Report. And Mama made me think about it because she said, "Did y'all out there gonna talk about the such and such?" Yeah, Ma, there's certain words uh, you can't say. I can't say that word, Ma, at the beginning of our show. What the S word? You can't. You, it's, said. you gotta make it like you talking to a kindergartner. More whatever you said happened with that lady. Yeah, I can't say that word. You can't say certain words. You can say because people cuss on YouTube and stuff. Mm -hmm. It the computer is just not gonna put your stuff out that much. Aww. It'll put it out, but it'll it'll put it it'll out be less. It, yeah, it'll be um limited coverage. Limited um coverage. So okay. I mean, it is what it is. But um, people find other ways to um, you know, those are monetize and make money. It's unfortunate on those words are becoming more and more popular. Yeah, in our vocabulary. Yeah, it's like you wake up and you have that word in your vocabulary, and they act like these little kindergartners. These kindergartners be cussing and doing everything. They they talk worse than we do. I know, and they know the internet. Yeah, ask them where to go; they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, a lot of stuff going on. Um, Roe, um, what's his name? Roy, Roy Wood, Roy Jr. Wood Jr. Mm -hmm. Um, him. Made it I known. didn't know how he was gonna be. Um, I knew he was a writer for Daily Show, mm -hmm. so you know he's smart because mm -hmm. the Daily Show they write. I love how they do um Their political humor. humor. Yeah, it's smart. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know how he was gonna be. Okay, so I love how he. We'll, we'll go through. I it, got to see. I more love how he started he off by saying the room, half the room, don't even know who I am. So, and so when y'all think I'm Keenan? When he said Louis Armstrong, I laugh because oh he does God. look like Louis Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Until you said that, I didn't even think. He does that. look like Louis I'm Armstrong. Like, what is he saying, Louis Armstrong? So that was funny when he said that. So we'll go over the white, what we thought was funny, and, and what we um, thought about the White House correspondence yeah. dinner. And that's a big dinner that's, yeah. that, that for a few years, Anna on the View said mm -hmm. because of comb over. Mm -hmm. The first one in comb over's year, mm -hmm. he got offended. That's the one I think. Um, oh, and shut it. Oh, that's when Obama, Obama was president. Obama made yeah. the comment, and he, when he became president, he shut it down. He and then of COVID, of course. Yeah, we didn't. They didn't do it that year, so it was almost like two, three years went by. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about that. There's a lot going on. Um, Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. He didn't have nice words to say about the red table, which I didn't. I told you I was happy as God. Okay. Uh, Fifty Cent always weighing in. <laughs> okay. You know, Fifty Cent, and he has a studio. He, he's trying. He's following the path of uh, uh, Tyler Perry. Uh, Tyler Perry. Get down. He bought a lot of land, and he they think he's going to do a studio. What kind of stuff will he probably? Well, he's BMF Power. All the shows that he's going to keep oh, doing his wow. own shows. Okay, but he has stuff coming up that he um hmm. that he's going to do. I ain't mad at um, him. I yeah. mean, you do get mad at him, but I ain't mad at him for right. that reason. Um, there's a big controversy with um Iana and um uh what's that, their and Ebony discussion mm -hmm. about would you date a bus driver if you were a Eb successful I man? I told my sister you. I mean, woman. Those of us who follow Ebony on the show, she ain't gonna date one. So right. So we'll talk, we'll about, talk that. More about that. Um, I have my own views on that, and we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what people say. Um, it's just a lot of and stuff. You haven't been putting surveys out. What have you been putting survey? You used to put surveys out. Ask questions to our audience. Yeah, I think I'll go back to doing That'll that. That'll be a good question. Maybe the first question would be, do y'all think that Roy Woods did a good job if as, you, um, if you, as oh, a correspondent? And then if you didn't watch it, like Whoopi, she said she saw excerpts from it. Yeah. She, she saw him per by itself, but she yeah. wasn't there, of course, yeah. at the thing. All right, so let's start here. Scooby-Doo says, hello, everyone. Hello, Scooby. Hey. Um, Scooby Doo says hello, Ma. Hello. How are She's you? Saying hello. Scooby. And uh, Mike M Perk says hello, ladies. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. 
All right. Okay. We got everybody. We got some of y'all still coming in, still coming in. So okay. that's why I try okay. to make okay. it go a little late. But we'll we probably we be may on change the... it to later. Yeah. We, we, what do y'all think? Maybe that'll be a question. That'll Should be a survey change, question. Um, an hour later. The Woods report to um, 5 o'clock Central instead of uh, and that'll 4 be o'clock Central. 6 East. It'll be 6 Eastern. So that's so, a thought. Because <clears throat> we'll some see. people have trouble getting on. They'll see us later, though, because it's already recorded. So. Yeah, I try not to go too late because some of the people I watch come on later. Oh, That's why I don't. Because okay. I watch, like, Lovely T and some of them. They come on later. And I don't want to be bumped. There's no way we'll bump it. We'll have, we already got five. It'll be what one about, person um, left. Charlotte Baby now. <laughs> no, they come in the they morning. Come early? Okay. Yeah. So everybody's saying hi to everybody. All right, so the White House Correspondents Dinner. The biggie. The View now, talked about it today. Kim, we, we actually sat and we um, Googled mm-hmm. all of the peop- the hosts that have been on that oh, on, yeah. on, at the White House Correspondents, yeah. like mm-hmm. what Roy Wood Jr. Mm-hmm. did. A lot of people. She said Aretha Franklin one year. They didn't, this, that was during, um, they said the um, Iraq, um, the, not, uh, what was it, the war. Uh-huh. And Bush, um, they didn't want comedy. So they had oh, Aretha Franklin. That's all that went on. And then another year that um, they had a, com- um, a musician Ray was Charles. Ray Charles. And that was during, um, I forgot. What they some, didn't host like Boy Wood did or something. Or something. Yeah. I can't remember. So they, they, if they <clears> entertained. <throat> entertained. Oh, okay. Jimmy Kimmel's done it probably more than anybody, mm-hmm. we noticed. Jay Leno. Conan O'Brien. Conan. Not Jimmy Kimmel, um, Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Um, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, we saw Trevor last Conan. year. Conan. Mm-hmm. The ones that do the talk show. Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric. I remember the year Cedric did it. Yeah. Okay. I remember him. Okay. So some of them I remember. Okay. Some of them I remember. Hmm. Um, but it's been a while. And it's, I it's, like I like when they do it that way. That's why we all knew. Comb over. is If, if you're a narcissist, you're not going to like anybody cracking on you. You don't want nobody roasting you. And that's the problem with a narcissist. They can't take right. a joke even on the negative well, about them. I will disagree. What? Because Trump did get roasted on Comedy Central. That's different, No, though. no. They was on him. It was How did because he respond? It was different. Obama roasted him. Oh. And he said... He couldn't run for president. That's what made him say, oh, you think I can't run? Like, nobody will take oh, me serious? So yeah. not only am I going to run, but I'm going to win. And he did. Okay. And thanks to Obama, we got four years of Trump. Oh, my God. Because he wasn't going to run, he said. Oh. But to Obama's defense, he kept attacking him on the birth issue. Show me your birth certificate. Yes. Show me your birth certificate. Like you're not American or whatever. And that was the year Obama did, and he had him like the um, Lion King. Oh, uh-huh. holding him up and all this, <laughs> and he was he's, he has a birth certificate. So that that was the oh. year. But Trump was wrote he he. You okay, gotta so remember you said he can't take a joke. Look, I don't like Trump like everybody else. But put it, the, the man has was a celebrity before he was a president. Okay. Yeah. He was on Comedy Central. He was on all kind of people shows. Howard Stern. Everybody. But has even cracked on, on those him. shows, they they've cracked on him. They cracked what on him. What Howard said about Howard's him? Howard's made comments about him being in love with his with Ivanka, oh, his daughter. Okay. He, he's he takes the joke because he didn't take the jokes when um what's her name that was hosting on the View with her big head, um, Ro, 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 oh Roseanne. He don't like Roseanne. Not Roseanne. Oh, I Rosie. Rosie. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell. So she was. Oh, saying, he likes Roseanne. He Rosie was okay with like. her. Joy said he was okay with her cracking back at him. Yeah. Until she started talking about his money that he didn't have. It. That's what I'm saying. So she 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 hit a nerves. You can't do that though. I don't like when people go. Oh, you need to take it all the time. You need uh, to always be cracked on and be ready for it. Tammy said he's hilarious. She talking about Roy. Um, and he cracked not on, comb over. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he cracked on um on the view. He made a comment like What's you up, Tammy? Mm-hmm. about Tammy who? Tammy, Tammy. Okay. Um. Oh, Tammy. I know what Tammy. What, what's her last name? Where's she live at? What's yeah, her address? Right. I'm sorry. Name. I'm sorry. That's private stuff. <laughs> um. He made a comment about people. Uh, uh. They'll vote for him with his orange suit on in prison. Yeah. And they were like, yeah. He didn't like that. Yeah. Um. Scooby Doo says, "Well, you are messing up my cartoons." Laugh out loud. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Go ahead. What did they say? Oh, they, they go right talked mainly um, at the beginning Biden. about Biden's um, delivery. Right, the White House Correspondents' Dinner was Saturday night, the annual event where politicians and the press and public figures gather for a few laughs, and President Biden shocked everybody because he was that funny. But take a look. 
you say I'm ancient. I say I'm wise. You say I'm over the hill. Don Lemon would say, that's a man in his prime. I want everybody to have fun tonight. But please be safe. If you find yourself disoriented or confused, it's either you're drunk or Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of Rana Sanders, Ron Sanders jokes ready. After his re-election as governor, he was asked if he had a mandate. No. He said, hell no, I'm straight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> I'll give you time to think that one through. <laughs> Last year, your favorite Fox News reporter was able to attend because they were fully vaccinated and boosted. This year, with that $787 million settlement, they're here because they couldn't say no to a free meal. <laughs> all right, all right. He had a good joke writer, good joke writer. He all was right. on a roll. He was on a roll. So, um, yeah, he's making jokes about the old. We, we about told him being old. our show last week, we said he needs to say something. About being old. Being old. Because yeah. they're going to come at you until it's time to. I feel again. like this should have been a time he should have addressed the Hunter thing. What it's at said. the correspondence dinner. It's funny. It's I was light. saying to you why no one else made a comment about but it. But he should have said something. At this, this is the point. The point where it's, it's everybody's kind of lighthearted, uh -huh. and he could say something along the lines of, um, again, like I was saying about his son uh -huh. Hunter, just goes off, flies off, uh -huh. um, or something like that, or something along the line. I'm it still would have to be a good. I'm still a good one. A good one. I'm still yeah. waiting to, to it meet. Would have to I'm still waiting to meet my grandchild. Exactly. Or along the lines of two, the connection with him and the the things that his son is dealing with is not stuck to him, right? Because he he stayed away from that. He stayed away from the documents. Mm -hmm. Roy did Roy the documents. Did. Let me hold on to this. Yeah, because we don't do good. <laughs> you don't let me put this in. My, you don't do good with documents. <laughs> he did step on some. He toes, did though. very well though, and he mm -hmm. he got the press just what I said. Mm -hmm. They was all. Trump with those mm -hmm. documents, mm -hmm. and then when Biden had, well, everybody got documents. Everybody got, uh, everybody got. The Pence got documents. Mm -hmm. Everybody got documents. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that Chinese balloon up there. That uh, fine on us. That was the press. They mm -hmm. went away from it. Mm -hmm. They were on Trump like he had committed the worst crime in right. the world. And I like how Roy did that. And then one of the things they asked him on the View, mm -hmm. just we're on that beginning to go into him. Mm -hmm. They asked him what was the jokes that was written because he said one joke he had to erase because Biden talked about it. Mm -hmm. I can't think of it what it was, but Biden rap report rap it was whatever that person's name was. And then um, they said, well, out of the jokes that you had written down, ready to deliver, mm -hmm. which ones was there any of them that you were kind of nervous about? And he said, actually, the one about um, Vice President um, Kamala. He said, I, I, I didn't He know, didn't even hurt her. I didn't need, well, he said, I didn't know where to go with my first line. Everybody thinks Kamala don't, 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 haven't done anything. Right, right. He knew that line there, it could either make him or break him, yeah. depending on how her face looked. But you saw everybody was like, Ooh. And he said, give me a chance. And then he went right into yeah. where he was going with yeah, that. Yeah. But he was a little nervous, he said, on the view yeah. about that joke. But I was surprised. He was actually nice with her. He was. He could have really. And he said, it don't matter what you do anyway, they're going to give the, the white man credit anyway, so it don't matter. And he said all of his jokes, mm -hmm. they're going to take it out of context. Yeah. They're going to take in pieces yeah. of what they like. Of. He said... He got dogged out for the the Don Lemon jokes. Okay. He even mentioned that. Oh, well, he said Sonny, oh. Sonny didn't say nothing. Yeah. I'm surprised she didn't say that because that's her friend. Right. He said, speaking of a-holes. But he said people didn't get the understanding of what he meant when he was going that whole direction because oh. he said, I get, Don Lemon has now have left the show or they've gotten rid of him. Are they going to put somebody else in place right. that still so can be a good be representative yeah, yeah. of people of color? Okay. Of the, the things that Don Lemon fought for. Are they going to be have a good replacement? Okay. And he did, he was a little nervous. He, he did kind of thought about Gail and the comment he made about Charles Barkley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So other Charles. than Charles. I know. <laughs> but my thing is, is that I felt like he was good. Of, of course, I like Trevor. I love Trevor better, but. I think he was good in his own route, right? I didn't expect him to be good. So he didn't have a bar that was set high. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you're a comedian, everybody knows you. Like if you're Jimmy Kimmel or Jay Leno or somebody, the bar set high. 
Because yeah. people expect you to come out and be funny. If you're mm-hmm. not funny, people going to be like, like, remember I told you I don't think Dave Chappelle could ever do this. Mm-mm. He would, number one, he would step on toes mm-hmm. and people would have to think about what he's saying. His jokes make you, you gotta think. think go. He has a setup to his jokes. They're not like really punchlines. Quick, 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 quick. Yep. Yeah. And you need a punchline person. He for said this. his mom was not happy. Um, about him mentioning her at first. Okay. Um, and they said, "Well, are you are you her favorite comedian?" And he said, "No, my mom got yeah. there's five comedians that's 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 more that she likes than she yeah. didn't mention my name." Yeah. They said, "Well, do you know where you're at on the list?" He said, "I don't even want to ask." Her. Yeah. But he, he mentioned he mentioned Chris Rock and and some other um. Usually, comedians. if it's a person you know, like you wouldn't say I'm the funniest person you know. Right. I don't know what that is. If Same. it's a family member, you. I think it's you, like that's an automatic you are, you, by so default. You used to him being funny all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's her son. So so let's listen to what he, let's go through really quick and see what we can. Give it up for Dark Brandon. I didn't get Dark Brandon. Did you? Uh, happy to be here. Oh, real quick, Mr. President, I think you left some of your classified documents up here. You didn't get them. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, don't give them to him. I'll put him in a safe place. He don't know where to keep them. I'm a... <laughs> Happy to be here, though. Happy to be here. <laughs> very happy. Very happy to be here. Um, so it's a pleasure to be here amongst our country's greatest leaders. Distinct- that MSNBC joke look good, though. I've been, I've been watching and looking around all night. Y'all look good. You dress nice. You got the nice threads on. You got the jewelry glistening. Oh, I, I, found, I realized the Fauci joke later on. When he said, um, that's your booster shot. Yeah. Because the camera showed Dr. Fauci in the audience. Yeah. We know he did not attend these things because of COVID. Yeah. So for him to be sitting there with no mask on, that's he clear. like, that's your We're booster shot. We're all in the shot. clear. Yeah. Dr. Fauci is here. That's your booster shot. Okay. So I got that one. Uh-huh. Look like everybody got a little piece of that settlement money from Fox News. Oh, that one when he said, there's three people you don't sue. Mm-hmm. The machine people. Yeah. Um, Cardi B and yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow. And Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That was funny. And then I love how he said, by the way, I love that machine. He's And he gave, he endorsed both of them. Both, later on. He didn't want to, he didn't want to, them coming at him. Yeah, by the way, I your machine is not good. I endorsed that And he had machine. a little, a little uh, commercial. Um, if you want, if something, put him in your booth. Or if you want the truth, then put such whatever such machine in, in your, your booth. booth. So that was good. That was good. <laughs> That's true. That was good. I'll just go through here quickly. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, come on. You know they got to do commercials each time. All right, anyway. But when he said that, that was funny. He Mm -hmm. said um, Fox is going to have a lot coming down the pipeline, which is what we said. Yeah. The next uh, voting people, booth people, are suing more more than the first one. That's true. All right, let me see. (laughs) <laughs> There's three people you don't want to see in the courtroom. That's Dominion, Cardi Dominion. B, or Gwyneth Paltrow. You gonna lose. I like that one. Let me speak see. to MSNBC. Former government officials who now work at MSNBC. I didn't get. I got it, but that was fair. Great achievements in journalism. That's right. Oh, this is the one he did about um, Santos. When he said that we he that we're here tonight to honor the kids that are being um, all those gra- all the graduates that are uh, going Journalism. on, um, he said, and and the, the top one that wins is Santos. Santos, and um, he said, but he couldn't be here tonight because he's auditioning for RuPaul's um, practice. <laughs> So I thought that was funny. That was cute. That guy is a nut job. He is Santos, just like, just like Marjorie. No, not as bad as Marjorie, yeah. but he's a nut job. Okay. Souls are the future of the. We say good luck to you, George. See? Sashay away. <laughs> and also, speaking of drag queens, can, oh, can we stop this with is the, the groom and stuff? Can you stop talking about that? Drag queens are not at a school to groom your kids. Stop it. And even if they were, most of them kids gonna get shot at school. It ain't no problem. Don't grow past legislation. Okay. Now, we talked about this. Yes. I said, I don't know if he meant to say that last part Mm -hmm. or if the joke just didn't fall right. Mm. Did he mean to say, those kids aren't going to, you worrying about the drag queens. Right. They're not going to be alive anyway for them to be um, uh, messed up. And maybe 
he didn't think the audience was going to respond that way. Mm -hmm. So then he replied, don't boo, mm -hmm. pass, pass legislation. legislation. Or was that part of the whole joke? Ah, we don't know. He Th knows. This is my opinion. They should have asked him that on The View. They didn't ask him that. No, no. If that was part of the joke, pass legislation, mm -hmm. it's a brilliant joke. It is. That's a Dave Chappelle move. If it's not part of the joke, that was a dumb joke. That Dave Chappelle is known for an ouch. And, and then and I'll then come back yeah. and say, let me kiss the wound. Pass the laws. But oh, I don't yeah, you're right. know. If we pass the laws, that won't happen. I don't know if that was. Why didn't they ask him that on the view? I think it was part of it. You think so? I think so. Okay. Because he, can't, he had a good comeback. Just uh, comedians have a good comeback. Mm. Like he said, they can boo me. I don't have no soul. Like Mitch McConnell. Like Mitch McConnell. That's a comeback. Mm. Like people say, if you do a joke on I, stage but, and it don't land, then you can make a comment to the audience. He did on the View said his stuff was written, and he referenced it. He said, "I write my stuff down too." Like Biden was writing his. Right. He said, "So really, it's all in his writing." It, it would be the answer, like you said, if he doesn't, if they don't ask that question. They should have asked him that question on the Was bill. that written down? In they your didn't response ask him. They didn't ask him. him. You get a. Ooh. They should have asked him. That could have just been a comeback. Yeah. Tucker Carlson is out of a job. <laughs> Some people celebrate it. But to Tucker's staff, I want you to know that I know what you're feeling. <laughs> I work at The Daily Show, so I, too, have been blindsided by the sudden departure of the host of a fake news program. Now, look at his people. They're not laughing. First of all, y'all don't have to laugh. You are a fake news program. Yeah. Tucker yeah. Carson lied about the um yes, he did. the the um, the, uh, the, the, the everything the voting the voting, the voting. Uh -huh. and he lies about a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So you are he a even fake lied news about program. Mike and Trump. You are he even lied about exactly <laughs> when they got behind the closed doors. He, he didn't know he was really being told how he feels. And as quiet as is kept, Fox got tapes on him. Saying if you say anything about us, we're gonna release those. Ooh, so that's got yeah. more stuff on him. See. So he's a liar and you're uh -huh. a fake news program. <laughs> so guy in the cowboy hat and all you other ones that didn't laugh at that. They just kinda look. You just look. You are a fake <laughs> news, part of program. Fake news program. <laughs> that got sued. And I thought that was And funny. he did come back with a um a reply that the CNN, they were surprised at the amount of money. They said Oh, they didn't even Fox know they had. They got money? they got seven hundred. Got seven hundred. Yeah, more than that. Million? And there's gonna be some more people getting ready to get yeah. cut. Maybe Hannity. Who knows? Okay. But um, well, I like Facebook that. Facebook a little mean. I know. I like that. It's the most black. They trying to put black people all in there. Girl, bye. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny. Uh -huh. Um, I liked when he said, um, Fox knew Tucker Carlson got fired for partially. Um, of being um, um, misogynistic. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, they, they, they main people, uh, no, misogynistic Misogyn women. Oh, uh -huh. They main people have gotten fired for doing worse things with women. Mm -hmm. So that's why he said they, that's progress. Mm -hmm. He partially, mm -hmm. and he you. said, so he shattered the a-hole um, thing. People laughed when he said that. Okay. So that was funny. The ceiling. I noticed the ceiling. I noticed the Democrats didn't laugh when he said, um, uh, well, he'll probably get to that. I'll get to that later. Okay. If you don't pass it. Pass that was it. funny. New and existing customers. Anyway, when the Democrats said, when he said, um, everybody kind of was mixed on their thoughts when the whole thing with the um, Trump, with the uh, the documents. Yeah. Republicans were saying tougher on crime, uh -huh. tougher on crime. Uh -huh. Oh, here. Got caught up like that dude from Vanderpump Rules. Text message stuff. I don't know what Vanderpump Rules is about. I just watched it a couple times. My friends told me it's like BMF, but for white people. Or is that secession? No, secession is power for white people. No, Tucker Carlson is power for white people. No, that's white power. You know what? Never mind. Don't worry. Now, I think that went over a lot of people's heads. Yeah. Because when he said BMF, Vanderpump Rules is like BMF for black people. people. White people. White people, whatever. That's their show. BMF right? is ours. And oh. White people is Vanderpump okay. Rules. Both of them is about criminals. Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. I think that went over everybody's heads. Well, that's a, that's white privilege. They won't get it. And cheating and being manipulative. They won't get it because that's a white collar crime. But I'm thinking that went over a lot of people's heads. You know, white collar crime is not a crime. And then when that's he the said way it is. Tucker Carlson for white people is like power for black people to show power. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. A guy running a network or a company having a lot of stuff on people, which I think he still does, uh-huh. and they were afraid to get rid of him. Because they may be torn down themselves. And he's and he's a liar and a mm-hmm. manipulator mm-hmm. and controls but all the gotta, people they there. they got to keep him because that's called control. And that went over a lot of people's heads. Uh-huh. And then when he said Tucker Carlson is white power, that went over a lot of people's heads because white power is this whole thing about being superiority Mm -hmm. over everybody else. Mm -hmm. And as long as what we feel and think, that's to be the way that everything runs and rules. Mm. So I think when he did that, that was brilliant. That's why I was... Because it went over everybody's heads. Okay. I hate... I, I. It's something how you sit back. We always say, read what you sow, read what you sow. Good and bad. Car, uh, Tucker Carlson, remember the things that we were really upset when the, the black lady that he was the reason why she was let go mm-hmm. was Tiffany, I think it's her Tiffany, name. because of Tucker Carlson. Mm-hmm. Because of Tucker. And then why was the tapes and stuff, it was tapes and recordings, information given to him. Thank you. Released and given to him. They put too much eggs in one basket with that. Man. I think that he had stuff on people, though. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying he's the equivalent of power mm-hmm. to when we watch the show Power. Okay. And then that's when he said white power. So I think that was very brilliant of him okay. to play on that. Mm. Back up, Don't worry about that. We got to get Tucker back on the air, Mr. President, because right now there's millions of Americans that don't even know why they hate you. Perfect example. I've watched on YouTube where they've gone to these... Um, uh, mega uh, rallies, mm-hmm. and they said, why do you hate Joe Biden? The craziest things come out of their mind. This one lady said, because he's Satan. He's the devil. And he said, can you just tell us something that made you think he's the devil? Right. She goes, he's just the devil. He's evil. Okay. Then another person, they said, well, why do you hate Joe Biden so much? Um, well, he's a Democrat. Democrats are Satanists. They worship the devil. They worship Satan. Well, remember... Um, Marjorie Taylor Greene said that they're all um, abortion. Oh, uh, pedophiles. Pedophiles. Yeah. So they, Tucker Carlson is needed because he has to tell them why they hate Joe Biden. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, y'all can't think for yourselves. Let me so tell let me you why. This, why it, this is why it is. Yes. Now he passed this thing or the Democrats passed this thing and you don't believe in that, right? So that makes them evil. So this is why you hate uh, Joe Biden. These people are knuckleheads. I think, um, and that was a brilliant line. Whoopi talks so much on the view about um, the the people make the decisions, trusting the people, trusting the 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 um the, the country to to be smart and wise. No, she's naive when she says that. Here's the thing I keep remembering. She's very naive. Remember um, McCain, before he passed, he was running for president. Oh, yeah. And the old white lady got up. They was at a, a, a town hall meeting. Yes, and she said uh, he was, for as far as Obama was concerned, she thinks that he was an American, she said he's not Muslim, American, Muslim, or something. And then McCain said, that's that's, that's not, not right. True. That's not true. That's those, The McCain days are over. Oh, my goodness. The McCain Republicans. Aren't they're, they don't they and, don't have and, power and, anymore? And Cheney's uh, daughter. They don't have and, power and, 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 and Romney. It's mega. It's the people that are stupid who don't even understand why they hate somebody. Why would you call somebody a Satanist? I can say I don't agree with you politically mm-hmm. or something like that, mm-hmm. but they say things that are so ridiculous mm-hmm. that it's like. Are you are you really you really naive? You really are they naive. They are Marjorie Taylor Greens. Yeah, you're right. They are a lot of because even her people haven't sat her down because they probably like, hey man, Marjorie, you're right. Really? Why not just say you stupid though? There's I nothing wrong with being stupid. No, no, there's one's things. Admit they're stupid. No, there's some they things think that they they know it. They there's it. some things in this world that I think I'm stupid about mm-hmm. or ignorant. Mm-hmm. I think I don't know, so I don't know. I maybe and we make will a, admit it. I maybe make a comment, but it's out of ignorance. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Why can't they just say they're ignorant? I don't know, y'all. I just don't like them. Why? Can, why do you make up stuff? Yeah, that's true. That's all I'm saying. Just yeah. be ignorant. Versus, Just say I don't know. I don't. I'm. I don't know about it. 
I don't want to know about it. I'm I'm older now. I don't want to add that in my brain. I don't care. I'm ignorant. It's, I'm, I'm, I don't care. It's not the top of my he list. It is the devil. But to say stuff that's just stupid, yeah. Jewish people have horns on their head and they wear hats to hide. And there was no Holocaust. You are an that was idiot. all made up. The Holocaust was all so made up. So I like up. that line when okay. he said, it's millions of Americans who don't know why they hate you. Mm -hmm. We got to get Tucker back online. They're stupid. See, it's stuff like that. It's stuff like that that makes you, he's an old man. It took him a while to get it. No, he, he was, no, no, he laughed later. He was like this. How you know it took him a while? He could have still been delaying laughing too. We assume you're doing what the, dip, the Republicans do. His response is like, oh, he's old. Look at him like grandpa. Did you get it, he grandpa? Kim, he is not that much older than um, comb over. They I know, but, about that on the view. but Trump, Trump is not old acting like like Biden. That's Biden the, acts old, but still, like he said, and he even had to clean it up. Well, we'll see. He'll get when he him. wakes up. He gets yeah, things he, done. All right, all right. Um, Anne Marie says hello, ladies and everyone. Hey, Anne, hey. Annie May. I mean, Annie May. Uh -huh. Right, two different systems. She's saying going back to what we were talking about. Emerald says. They always put the most ignorant people on TV. And Annie Mae says, right, Emerald, shaking my head. And the, the most ignorant people believe in them. They believe in Oh, this All is a right. scary world. Fox claimed Dominion conspired with the Democrats oh, this is to nice. rig the election. And the Democrats should be flattered that they thought that y'all were smart enough to rig an election. They didn't like that. It, it got kind of quiet. Well, you said that they played, I said they played they checkers, played checkers and, the and the Republicans played chess. chess. Democrats play checkers. Mm -hmm. You are not smart enough to rig an election. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A Republican is. You stepped on everybody's toes tonight. And tonight. what a lot of people don't realize is that what the Republicans are doing now is they're doing a lot of stuff in the local area, restructuring maps redoing things they want to take voting off of college campuses mm -hmm. so the kids what kids gonna go far away to vote thank you but they know that that most kids do not vote republicans so right. that's why they want to take it off the campuses and nobody's saying anything about because all these they strategic play, moves they play chess and Democrats play checkers and we're going backwards when they do that because the way we had to fight to vote for women to vote for people of color to vote we're it's like we're going back a hundred years yeah. by them redoing things they and changing things. rules again remember when when the black person first got their card to vote mm -hmm. and they would come up sorry we're closed but your sign says five no, no we man closed. we're closed early yeah. you didn't see the new sign around right, the corner right. And black people be so, like, oh man. When he said that, they didn't like so it. So they going back. Because you know that most of the media in the room is Democrat. Mm -hmm. They don't want to say they are, but they are. The majority of the press is Democrat. Mm -hmm. And you got a few little Republicans sprinkled throughout there. But they didn't like that joke. See? Warnock needed a runoff to be the werewolf. Thank you. That was your boy. That was my thing. Why do you need a runoff to beat a nut job who thinks who that he's, he's a, a werewolf? A werewolf? <laughs> that means that people don't have no, Democrats are weak. I'm yeah. sorry, y'all weak. And the only way that Joe Biden will win is if he runs against Trump. That's the only way. Because people will vote for him because they hate Trump so much. Like they did last time. They'll vote for him because they well, hate he was Trump. On, well, uh, Roy was on The View today and he said, a lot of us don't really think that... Um, a lot of y'all don't think that he going that the, the Georgia situation is coming. Um, y'all don't think he gonna get in, put in jail. He he'll be running from jail, but he may still get. He will run from jail. Arrested. He will run from. First of all, he will never be arrested. He may get under house arrest. He they'll he'll never. They will never put him in jail while he's awaiting a trial. We know that's not gonna happen. But he could be under house arrest at Mariago, mm -hmm. and he will still run for president. Yeah, he would come live on, on as on, as uh, Trump mm -hmm. from his place in Mar-a-Lago, mm -hmm. and he'll talk about how they trying to railroad him, and 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 people and, will sit and believe and it, and people will sit and believe it. So, okay. but it's not over for you, Fox News. You still got that. That's what he said. They still got that other one coming. Speaking of assholes, Don Lemon is out of a job. <laughs> See, they didn't laugh. Don Lemon, 
my dog Don Lemon. Don Lemon released a statement saying he got fired from CNN. Then CNN released a statement saying that they offered Don a meeting. They had to part ways because Don Lemon can't even accurately report a story about Don Lemon. <laughs> I still think that Don deserved more CNN. That ain't how you fire somebody. It's messed up. How funny is it that you work in the news, then watch on the news that you got fired from the news? <laughs> Don Lemon is now the most obnoxious guy in the history of CNN. That's not fair. Even Jeffrey too been looking at Don Lemon like, ooh, he rubbed me the wrong way. And that guy rubbed everybody the wrong oh, way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Letting Don go was the wrong move. You shouldn't have let him go. Not this soon, CNN. First off, Don was fine when y'all was letting him drink. You shouldn't have cut off his liquor. <laughs> you don't fire your host after the first couple of scandals. Let the scandals, the scandals got to stack up. You got to get some, you got to get ratings. Yes, Don Lemon was a diva, and he said a couple of women are raggedy in the face, but that's a promotion at Fox News. <laughs> raggedy now, in the face. <laughs> that's why I said that Don Lemon is a bonehead. If you remember on our last show, I said he's a bonehead. You know you don't like women. And, and why would you call Maybe only his mother? Talk about women's looks. <laughs> And they sent you a black man between two white women, and you didn't see that you was going to get fired? Dude, they set you up. <laughs> that was a setup. <laughs> oh, you don't like women. But uh, is Don Lennon getting the last laugh? Because they got to pay him throughout his contract. Yeah. I yeah. think they got to pay him through 2026. So he's still getting I, paid. That, but did he leave, though? Does it matter if they let... I don't think they let him go. He left. But did he do it? You know how somebody want to get fired? So they do everything in the world to get fired. <laughs> was this a whole plan from Don Lemon to get I fired? No. My, my mother said he already. See? Okay, okay. So is this a master plan from Don who Lemon? Who knows? Who knows? Kanye West, they said he wanted to get out of his Adidas contract. Oh, and that so was what, why not to say do something that. about Jewish people? And they are a company that's we known gotta for being. We got to cut you loose. To and Kanye. they are a company known for being Nazi. Yes. We got to cut you loose. So I thought that That's was what I wanted. Is he brilliant or are they the dumbest man that, that, that between? I'm sure he had money to get a lawyer to get some, some direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me go to it there. Now watch his whole thing. Anti-CRT. Hi, Cecily. I of just course, because I went ahead. This is the part where he was talking about... Um, uh, CRT mm -hmm. and about how most people don't even know what that right, is. Right, they don't. Yeah, and and DeSantis Try being to an get idiot. Rid of it. Critical race theory. CRT policies are an attack on Black history and an attempt to erase the contributions of Black people from the history books. That's what it is. You are trying to erase black people, and a lot of black people wouldn't mind some of that erasure as long as that black person is Clarence Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> then he goes on to talk about Clarence Thomas was bought by a billionaire. Mm -hmm. He bought, he took them all, all over the world. House. I like how you said he flew them all over like a, 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 a Instagram model. Mm -hmm. He bought him, bought his mom's bought house. Mm -hmm. He said, so he said, y'all billionaires, y'all buy the weirdest things, space shuttles and Twitter. And mm -hmm. now you got you a black Supreme Court who, justice. Who does this? That's a Supreme Court justice. Why would you to be a black man too? Any money to any of them that jeopardizes everything. Oh, the, the high level that they are in our nation, our, our justice system. Money is going his way. That man, billionaire, will never have a problem. Not with Clarence with Thomas. With the law. Black people will hand over Terrence, Clarence Thomas. Remember back in um, the uh, Dave Chappelle days mm -hmm. when we, he had the trade? Mm -hmm. When we was trading white people oh, for yeah, black people? Yeah. We've been had uh, Clarence Thomas on the trade We've list. been asking for We've him to trade. We've been asking to trade Clarence Thomas for decades. We can't get rid of him. We can't get rid we of him. Even, we even come in at his wife. Dad, gone it. You think bring the wife down, the husband to go too. 
We still trying we to get both of them. Get rid of Clarence Thomas, and we can't get rid of them. Oh. We can't get rid of. Okay. Them. We have another black Supreme Court justice, so Thank we don't you, need him Lord. now. We never needed him. We, we have Latino representative. We got a uh, black representation. Oh man! And he's such an embarrassment. Oh gosh! I think they Clarence Thomas. I know there's some black people who like Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares that you like Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. Nobody, mm -hmm. because you like Clarence Thomas because you are uh, like him for what? Ridiculous! Though? You don't even know why you like him. You like him because he's black? No, because think about this. He ain't done nothing. We will like you until we start seeing things surface. Thing what's done in the dark comes to light. Things that that deal with your integrity. And you agree, and you believe him, but you don't believe a black woman. Thank you. Who black said that he um, was um, misogynistic yeah. and and um, was Anita Hill. Right. You don't believe Anita Hill, mm -hmm. but you believe Clarence Thomas. Why? Do you know Clarence Thomas personally and you don't know? What, what, what makes you believe him over her? Thank you. Thank you. And her story has never changed. And we starting to see the trueness about his character. Thank you. He has so a lot of looks, flaws. Out of all these years, mm -hmm. who looks a little bit nicer? He, Anita Hill? Thank you. Or Clarence Thomas? And she probably looking at all this going, why didn't they not believe me? Thank you. Oh, we already goodness. knew his character. Yeah. If you didn't believe Anita Hill before, mm -hmm. there should be no reason you don't believe her now. The story probably would have been different if Anita Hill was white. Oh, please. If, if Anita Hill was white... Clarence, white people wouldn't have put Clarence Thomas Thank up there. Thank you. They would have no been like, no, no, no. You no. didn't mess with this white woman. You think you're going to get your black self up there in, in um, Supreme no. Court justice? See, that's another. But it was a black woman. And that's another thing we talk about as far as how our black women are treated. Thank you. In general, when it's the same news story. Thank you. Oh, God. Nobody. If black women are held at the lowest part. It's, it's like, eh, yeah. Oh, you missing? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we'll send somebody yeah. out to go look for you. She probably Ooh, a white girl with blonde hair and blue eyes is missing? Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Go we got to go get her. Turn the country over to find her. Oh, where's she at? So, okay. yes, it's a difference. Yeah. But I like how he um, talked about that. Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't stand Clarence the Thomas. Flying Clarence Thomas all over the world on unreported trips like an Instagram model. Taking... He was an Instagram model. Every time I go for it, it does. It goes there. Then I liked how he talked. He brought in his mom. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know she wor uh, works at HBCUs, HBCUs as a teacher mm -hmm. and a, um, a, a, what you call it, mm -hmm. administrator. Mm -hmm. And his dad. Right, let's see. <laughs> Everybody's got some scandals, though. Despite the challenging times we live in, I look around this room and I see people that are hardworking. Many of you, I don't even think you should be working that hard. Oh, okay. This is the one when he was talking about in um, France. Um, oh, they, they were mad they're, about they're, the They're age. picketing, they're rioting mm -hmm. because their government wanted to go up two years on the retirement age. 64. And here we got an 80-year-old man begging, begging to, to, be president. to be president. Begging. And then this is the part you said you like when he said, say what you want to say about Joe Biden. He gets things he done. He takes naps, but when he wakes up, he gets things done. He's like, oh, oh, oh. And he, and was he, he infrastructure bill? He passed the, yeah. the infrastructure bill. Yeah. And then he went, oh, 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 oh. Then we free Britney Reiner. But so that was, that was his little thing. Yeah. We should be inspired by the events in France. They rioted. The scandal of, is Joe Biden awake? <laughs> Hey, say what you want about our president, but when he wake up from that nap, work gets done. <laughs> he might doze off with an mm, infrastructure bill. Mm, mm, oh, student loan forgiveness. Mm, did we free Britney Ground or free Britney Ground? <laughs> but the worst scandal, and this is the part you like, is the Kamala Harris. Yeah, about let's say. But I think the most insulting scandal to fall to the feet of the Biden administration was placed at the feet of our Madam Vice President. The scandal of what does Kamala do? Which is a disrespectful question. That's a disrespectful question because nobody ever asked that question of the Vice President until a woman got the job. Mm -hmm. 
Agree and disagree, believe it or not. What's your disagreement? Okay. Part? First of all, <laughs> they did a movie about Dick Cheney because yes. Dick Cheney was the president. I uh, know. He really stepped on the Bush's toes to be do that all of that. So and not I really not his job. I though. disagree with him about saying if because they did a movie about him. He didn't. He didn't do vice president, but he. President I think well. he overstepped his boundaries because we had a nut job as the president. He had to. Uh, unfortunately, Cheney wasn't there when Obama was president. But because Bush was having shoes thrown at him when he went over in other countries <laughs> sure and did. flying over New Orleans uh-huh. and saying he couldn't see no nothing wrong, and, and Kanye Dick made a comment Cheney about that. Cheney had to step up. And become the president of the United States. Oh, that's sad. And he did. Okay. So whether you like him or not, whether you want Republican or conservative or Democrat or whatever, uh-huh. he is the, one of the first vice presidents who took a major role mm-hmm. in in his, in the presidency. He, he 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 actually took the vice president role to another to level. another level. Mm-hmm. So then, what happened is after that, now he everybody the bar. thank you. Now everybody's thinking. What does the vice president do? But Pence lowered it again. Yeah, because ah, yeah. he didn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Pence lowered it. And oh uh, no, what's God. his name? Lowered it. Uh, Potato Ooh. Man. Potato. No, no. Recently. Oh, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently. Okay. Now, with that being said, I disagree with him with Kamala Harris. Okay. Now you and when I talked are, about this. When you are a black person, or mm-hmm. when you are the first mm-hmm. in anything, mm-hmm. first woman, first black, mm-hmm. President um, Obama was the first black president. Mm-hmm. He couldn't be mediocre. Mm-hmm. We have to do above more. And we got to always do above and beyond. Because if you don't, the, the door be closed mm-hmm. and it'll be another hundred years before yes, they let us yeah, in again. Because they watching y'all. So she can't afford yes. to be Mike Pence. She can't afford to have that question, what does she do? Nobody should be asking, what does she do? The fact that he made it a joke yes. means everybody's asking, they what are, does she do? Thank you. The scandal he's saying, And she supposedly. can't afford to do that. We talked about this on a previous show. Mm-hmm. So I'm sorry I disagree. Mm-hmm. Another thing I disagree with. But I do with, agree with him when it's, an, it's another side to that. Let's just say for sake of argument, she doing her thing like Cheney. Right. They won't give her the credit. No, this is my part that I disagree to. Go ahead. I agree when he says they won't give her the credit. She has to demand oh, the credit. Okay, okay. She has to be the person to say, I did this. When I did this, mm-hmm. I went here. I did this. I worked with Joe. Mm-hmm. I did this. That's I why did people, this. Were, um, people were excited with the thought of, what's her name running? If um, um, uh, Georgia. Georgia. Uh, what's her name, y'all? Come on, y'all. Stacey here. Abrams. If Stacey Abrams was, was the vice president, president that, I guarantee you that would not be a comment. You will know what Stacey Abrams is doing. Thank you. Not only that, she would be on television telling you what Biden she's doing. would have to go. Oh, Stacey, calm down, Stacey. Stacey, calm down, calm down. Stacey would be, be on. Talk. She would have, baby, please. 
If Stacey Abrams was vice president, you would have known it. Thank you. Every I, black oh, person in this country would have known she was the first black and woman. I, and I know she was running for the, the, the state governor. of Georgia governor. And I was hoping and praying that she got that. Because yeah. that was more not. aggressive as a, uh, 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 her lawyer. Yeah. As, so what's going to happen? Field. This is what I foresee is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, in the election, the Republicans are going to use that against Biden. Because they already, Nikki Haley already said he may not make it five years. He's old. So they saying she's going to be the president. She's not in her prime either. They're going to say Joe Biden may not make it five years from now. Kamala Harris will be president. That's, Is she good enough to be president? That's, that's the they're Republican. Gonna on, yeah. They're going to run on that. Yeah. And he has to state it can't be a comedian up there saying what she's done. Exactly. It can't, can't be nobody else. We got to be able to read off what she's done. Uh-huh. And if she does have to step in to be president, here's the thing. Say what you want to say about Mike Pence. I know what Mike Pence would have done if Donald Trump would have passed away. He would have been a conservative Christian he president. The same he would have said, he would have said, the no, abortion rights, no, all of that. LGBTQ, um, no, married no, or not. no. He would have said, keep prayer in school. Prayer in school. He would have said, we know what Mike Pence, we know him. Yeah. I don't know what Kamala Harris is going to do. Mm, that's a good point. Can, do y'all know? Y'all know what her platform is. What What's her platform? Mm. Other than I agree with Joe. See, so that's a big okay, one. Okay, okay. Um, Wendy says, love Roy. Yeah, he was good, Wendy. Mm-hmm. Um, Emerald says, finding that out makes me dislike Clarence Thomas even more. Thank you. Emerald says, he's right, but I still feel that she needs to do more. We feel And be that more too. upfront just in case mm-hmm. Biden does kill over. Because they won't be I no other I didn't even read co- what you said, Emerald. We just said the same it thing. It won't even be another. You don't, another comedian couldn't get her out of this one. She really needs to step so up. So I disagree. That was the part I did okay, disagree with I him when he said I that. And then he goes on to talk about his, um, he talks about, now this, we'll end it with this. He talks about um, um, his father being a wartime correspondent, Mm -hmm. which I liked. Mm -hmm. He talked about um, his mom, like you said, working Mm -hmm. at HBCU Mm -hmm. and being a uh, educator as well as Mm -hmm. um, an administrator. Mm -hmm. He talked about how local um, rep- um, reporters, mm-hmm. they're cutting local reporters. Mm-hmm. They're getting rid of them and focusing on these the giant, major, the major uh-huh. networks. Okay. But local reporting helped his mom because she would protest yeah. back in the 60s. Mm-hmm. And the local reporters covered those stories. Right. And that's what made national, it gained national attention. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So if you get rid of local reporters, what he's saying is you miss those blind spots. Yeah. Of all these little stories that are happening or that, things that's brewing right. in the, in the, we, in they that catch area. all of that uh-huh. or they catch the stuff that's brewing. Yeah. They catch the people starting to murmur it, about, the spark of it. yeah, though. people starting to murmur about not working, uh-huh. people starting to murmur about this or murmur, those local reporters mm-hmm. catch that mm-hmm. and then that gathers, uh, gains national attention. Thank you. So he's saying instead of giving all the money to these executives Thank who you. don't want to cut their salaries. They're cutting these local newsrooms right? and these news reporters. And I agree with that. Okay. And then he talked about how, because his father was in in Vietnam um, as a reporter, Mm -hmm. all of these um, reporters around the country who are getting uh, getting, um, arrested. Yes. Like Russia, they did bring that up too. Because even though Brittany was... It's, um, Sonny was even saying on The View that mm-hmm. it seemed like she was the honorary, honorary. Right. Because they talked about her a lot, using her as an example. of. Uh, but they, they always make sure right. that the people who are still in those countries right. as reporting and try. I mean, not, not, I'm not even reporters, just people over in those countries gotten taken. trying to bring them home. Right. And they wanted to make sure that that was a clear message. Yeah. So I like that. I like how he gave his mom props at the end mm-hmm. and his dad. I I think he did a good job overall. I think so too. I really do. So you saw this story. 50 Cent reacts to Roy Wood Jr.'s BMF shout out yes. during the White House correspondence. You know, 50 like that. Well, he oh, so he was positive, I'm sure. I believe. 50 Cent has reacted to Roy Wood Jr. shouting out BMF and Power during the 2023 White House correspondent dinner. On Sunday, um, Fifth um, reposted a portion of Roy Joyce Jr.'s monologue at the annual event on Instagram. 
Okay, you talked about the scandals. We did that. And and BMF being um Vanderpump, Vanderpump rules, rules being the black man's BMF. Mm -hmm. We gotta get Tucker back on air, Mr. President. Right now there's millions of Americans who don't know why they hate you. Fifty Cent captured the post by saying, This is some funny S, you know what? Uh -huh. Wait till you see old Joe at the end. Check out the post. He probably doing what I said. Mm -hmm. See old Joe at the end where he was like this. You know what? How much you want to bet? Let's see if that's what 50 Cent picked okay. up on. I picked up on Scandals it. have been devouring careers this year. The untouchable Tucker Carlson is out of the job. Now, okay. So you just saying it was a delay in getting it, though. I think he's re responded to the same thing I said. Oh, okay. Joe at the end, at Joe at the end was like this. And I'm like that. I'm not as old as Joe, but I'm still like that myself. Take I'm an aha later person. Okay. Oh, I get it. Oh, okay. okay. And then my friends would look at me like, Lenore, we talked about that about 30 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. So he liked it. He liked it, uh, apparently. Agre again, mm -hmm. and again, I told you about him um, opening up a studio. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see more of 50 Cent. I'm glad 50 Cent is going in that direction. Yeah, me Because he could go in a whole nother direction, mm -hmm. but he's going in a positive direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon calls Red Table Talk toxic and blame the show for the 2022 Oscar slap after the cancellation announcement. Well, he's saying that the slap because Will was getting roasted being on that show, and that's what made Will mad. <laughs> okay. Nick Cannon says he's in favor of recent cancellations of Jada Pinkett Smith's show, Red Table Talk, calling it toxic and the blame for the infamous 2022 Oscar slap. He made the comments during his radio show, The Daily Cannon, on Friday. Um, if there was no red table talk, then we then he wouldn't have slapped the S out of Chris Rock, Cannon said, <laughs> referring to when Will Smith walked on stage and slapped the comedian after he made a joke about Pinkett Smith's bald head. <laughs> um, the representative for Pinkett Smith did not immediately respond to the insider's request. They ain't, well, Jade ain't going to say nothing. No. But he pretty much saying what he we all said. That. It's canceled. He pretty much saying what most of us were saying. We didn't, we was tired of that show. And when she put Will on display, that emasculated him. I'm and surprised he even went on there, though. Because he had to. The, the, his wife Not was the begging table. him. No, she, he couldn't say no, babe. Uh, I don't want to do your show. Well, so that was it. I just wanted to talk about the that fact that. That shows how controlling she is. That other people, uh, like Nick Cannon, didn't like um, the Red Table Talk. If you're um, saying that, that shows a, another hint of her controlling behavior. Yeah. Annie Mae says, I don't know what Kamala Harris' agenda is. Nobody does, Annie Mae. Emerald says, Nick is right. How much humiliation can one person take, especially from your own family? Thank you. So I told y'all, I think secretly he's happy that it's canceled. Okay. She was filming at the house. I know. And I'm sure Will probably is happy too. Yes. Because that don't give her a platform to be messy. But she's shopping around for another network for it. So. We'll see. We'll see. Um, real quick, y'all, because this is another bad news. It's always bad news. Yeah. Gunman kills five neighbors, including a child in San something County. Mm -hmm. San Jacinto County home, is Sheriff Texas? said. A suspect who is still being sought had been asked to stop shooting his rifle in his front yard because of a sleeping baby, according to authorities. He didn't kill the baby, did he? Do y'all know? I think ah, let's the children read it. Survived. I tried not to read this. A man killed five people, including an eight-year-old boy with an AR-15. Mm -hmm. That's your gun that you hate. But I think he has it illegal. Well, let's see. Because he was deported at least five, six times. With an AR-15, but that, which is what I said. Just because you make it illegal don't mean that people are not gonna still have one. And he was deported when you said it before. A lot of the people are laughing. Because they come right back you over. send them to Mexico, they come right. They'll fly back I over. I told you this one dude laughed. He said, I'm getting deported. He said, but I'll be back next week. This fool and came I was, back. And I talked to this guy personally over here where we live. And he said, I'll be back next week. I went. Wow. I said, you crossing the, well, he said, I fly. That's another crack in our system. He said, I fly back. 
goodness. This man had a... How many Jose Rodriguez can it be? Oh, Lord. And they probably all look it's the same look, and you just have his... Uh, uh, he passport. should not have been led back into this country. I all don't right. know how that happened. Well, anyway, this man killed with an AR-15 style weapon Friday night in an angry response to his neighbor's request that he stop shooting in his yard while their baby was trying to sleep. Mm -hmm. Texas authorities said Saturday, instead of heeding the request, the man allegedly took the gun, went to the neighbor's house, and killed half the people inside. Yes. He then fled, sparking on overnight manhunt around Cleveland, Texas, that was continuing Saturday evening. He could be anywhere right now, James mm -hmm. Smith, special agent in charge of the FBI Houston office, told reporters Saturday afternoon. We believe he's on foot, but we don't know. Smith added that the suspect could be somewhere within 10 to 20 square mile radius, but that dogs lost his scent. Authorities located the gun allegedly used in the killings, but are unsure if the suspect is still no. armed. Yeah, they've been talking about this on the news with updates and how many times he was deported. Back and forth, back and forth. Yes. How do we let this happen in our country? It was at least the seventh incident this month mm -hmm. in which an armed American shot people in response to regular, everyday interactions. Wow. Yep, they was talking about that. So he didn't kill the baby. No, they, they said they here, hid it under Sonia Guzman's 25, Diana Alvaro, 21, Julius Rivera, 31, Jose, I'm messing the names up, 18, uh -huh. and Daniel Enrique, Somebody, eight. Their body covered one, I think one kid they found in clothes, hiding. Isn't that sad? And I can imagine the gunshot sounds is, will wake your baby, you know, if you got a little baby trying to sleep. But my, my whole thing wasn't even the gun, the AR-15, because criminals and people legally can get that gun. It'll be the Wild Wild West, like you're saying, because a lot of people legally getting them, and they're not getting rid of them, and they don't want to get rid of them because it's knuckleheads like him who probably did get his illegal. This way you saw two of the women were killed were found lying on top of the surviving mm -hmm. young children yeah. in the bedroom trying to protect them. Yeah. The post, because that's your first instinct. Is to cover your Is to cover them, and then mm -hmm. he coming in with an AR-15, mm -hmm. blasting everybody. Mm -hmm. At least let me get hit and let the kids live. And they live, yeah. The family gone, though. If they would have died on those kids, he would have killed them, too. The whole house. You big dummy. Yeah. But I just got angry. I didn't even, I didn't get angry, per se, with the fact that he had that gun. Because we know a lot of people are having that. And you, you, you just destroy more lives quicker. I was mad because he was deported, I think they said 2019. 20, here he come again. He comes again. He comes back. Send them back home. He comes back. Send them back home. How does that happen in our country? Yeah, that's well. Now you want the talk moment about you and then remember when Comover was president, he was making a, a stereotypical comment about Mexicans being killers and murderers. Yeah, but he's stupid. No, I'm saying this doesn't look good for our country. And yeah, how but we none of them. Our, but how this we is protect the borders. But that's the borders. I got it. Over. But that comment. When you look at it, it was a black man who came out and shot somebody, a white man who came no, out and shot somebody. No, I'm talking about the comments that Trump made. It's like I don't like when the, when the comments that they make are negative. Oh, yeah. And when it starts to happen, I'm like, wait a minute. This man should have stayed in Mexico. Right. How do he keep coming back? Well, he could make a comment not about that, but he no, could make no. a comment about the border being weak. Yeah, I agree with that. Exactly. And that part... A that's what I meant. Yeah, Democrats are weak on that. We so, are. Whereas then, then again, no, Obama, our country, our country then is again, weak. Obama sent well, more yeah, people sent back more. than anybody. But does that matter? It don't. If Obama, Not if they flying right back. If over. Obama sent, let's say for sake of argument, all all the presidents, Obama's percentages of sending them back with their families is larger. Right. How did this man get back? Right. But what I don't <laughs> like is I don't like when people take a crime or something, oh, yeah. and then they spread it over everybody in that race. Right. Because right. in that case, you can say black people, which is what a lot of white people feel, mm -hmm. are the most vicious people in this country. They'll say that all the time. Y'all kill each other all the yeah, time. But he, I They'll tell you that. Yeah, I was just saying, as so far as him like making that. the comment, well, anything that Trump says, you're not going to write. Right, right, so right. the moment I say, consider the source. Right, right. The moment I say Trump said, nah. right away, you know it's negative. Right, right. But he made that comment about the borders, and I'm like, 
any president, any person, public, exactly. Republican, independent, Democratic, we need to, the borders, when we send someone home, especially if they've been arrested and they got a criminal background, they're the ones really don't and, need to come back. Or go back to what we originally said. How did he get an AR-15? He Well, you know, you can get one, Kim. I'm just saying. So you can maybe get a, you can get a gun in the alley. So maybe, like we were saying, mm -hmm. you cut it off by whoever is responsible for selling these guns. Mm -hmm. If if these guns come up in things and places, you might have a hand in it. They ain't gonna like it. We don't know that. They ain't gonna like it. Because you're gonna be a little bit more like, who am I selling well, this here's to? Here's the thing. A lot of the guns that I was, I, I watch a lot of TV, a lot of, a lot of police shows. There have been guns that have been um, recycled. Okay. So the owner has not seen right. his gun and he reported or it people stealing, stolen. Yeah. And two years down the road, his gun is used in a murder yeah. case. Or you'll have these Somebody gun stole shops. it and they're using his gun. Or you'll have these gun shops. We, yeah. we have a local gun shop who was robbed. Yeah. Yeah, right. You were robbed. They stole his gun. They, I don't believe they was robbed. Really? I believe it was fake. Just like these restaurants who have fires mm -hmm. and they have to collect the insurance money. Oh, yeah. Some restaurants we had always a few, have we a fire. Had a few of those in the neighborhood. So this I'm one. Like, this is a second fire. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. And a gunshot gets robbed and all your guns are taken. Okay. So now the gun guy can say, I reported all these guns stolen. I don't have no, you know. Yeah. And he probably sold them under the table so he yeah. made money yep. off of the guns mm -hmm. and he didn't have to report those it. those AR-15s are a lot of money. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Emma says, when Nora, he can't tell her no. Probably Will Smith. So we'll get to these well, stories. She's, con she's controlling. She's controlling. She got a voodoo on. So her. tomorrow we'll talk about this. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank buys a failed bank. Just so you know. We got to do donkey before A local know. hero, boy in Michigan, helps a bus driver who I passed out. We'll talk that. about that tomorrow. And the big one tomorrow, Iyana. Um, Van Zant gives um, her and Ebony K. Williams mm -hmm. um, are talking about if you're a successful woman, mm -hmm. would you date a bus driver? We'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll and debate because we have a do we have a difference of opinion? I have a difference of opinion. Don't say what it is yet. I have a difference of opinion depending on who the woman. Okay, is. and I have don't matter. It depends on who the woman. Right. Is. So we you have can't a do a cut and dry. Right. So we we gonna argue. Eb I can tell you, Ebony William Ebony is not gonna go. So with we'll no argue bus about that tomorrow. Me and Lenora, we'll we'll argue about that tomorrow. <laughs> You'll argue your opinion. I'll argue mine, and then y'all can we, chime we, in. We meet on the same plate on some things. Some things, and y'all chime in if you're a successful. woman woman would you date a bus driver um your donkey of the day because you always want to know who Charlemagne the God's mm -hmm. donkey of the day is mom influencer convicted for lying about kidnapping Katie Sorensen or Sorensen a self-described mom influencer has been convicted of falsifying a police report over two years after she made a viral video claiming Hispanic couple attempted to kidnap her children the Washington Post reports Sorison filed the police report on December 2020 after visiting a Michael's craft store in California with her two children. Um, the press release says after making her purchase, she returned to her car with her children and drove out of the parking lot. A few minutes later, she called the police to report that a couple had tried to abduct her children. Sorison then posted an Instagram videos about the alleged incident adding significant details she didn't share with the police. She also shared her story on a local news channel, KTVU. Sorison's public accounts of the incident prompted police to re-interview her, which is when she identified a couple in Michael's surveillance footage as the would-be kidnappers. But the police later determined her story to be fabrication that was resoundingly contradicting by the couple she accused in the surveillance footage. In April of 2021, she was charged with three misdemeanor counts of falsely reporting a crime to government officials. After a week-long trial, during the, which prosecutors claimed she made the whole thing up, jurors found her guilty. She was acquitted of two other counts of false reporting to government official and faces up to six months in jail when she is sentenced in June. 
Um, the county district attorney, Rodriguez, said the verdict would hold Sorensen accountable while also exonerating the falsely accused couple. The case is also important that it illustrates the importance of using social media responsibly, she said. She like she just looked at a video of a couple. We the just talked about people saying about Hispanic stereotypes, people stereotypes, stereotypes about them well, being Well, remember it's always criminals. a Hispanic or a black man. Black man did it. Thank a black you. man stole it. And and quick in, in the, in the <laughs> law enforcers may be quick to believe it. So I love how she was convicted. I love how she got but in this trouble. But this is sad because we need how more many other people are doing this? But so. we need this. These are Karens. Oh. These people need to be prosecuted and they need to go to court and because they're holding up somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You saying I did something that I didn't do. Mm -hmm. You should be convicted of that. Mm -hmm. You need to serve some time. Even if it's picking up trash. Or lying. On the side of the highway, you need to do something. Because that lie, unfortunately, we've lived in this country long enough. A lie Thank will you. go a long way. And now way. I got to get a, uh, I got to pay for an attorney to defend me. Thank you. And clear my name now. Because people are believing the lie. And you know a lie will go all the way around the world before the truth even comes and out. And the truth, people still won't like that They'll old lady. They'll still remember the name. They'll still remember uh, I don't like Obama because he's yes. not an American. Can. So really? even if you say the truth, people still remember a lie. Oh my God! So um, that was the donkey of the day. Okay. So you wanted to know very who, much. You donkey. wanted to know who his donkey of the day okay. is. Okay. This was his donkey of the day. So I'm gonna keep these other stories up because I want you to do those for um tomorrow. Okay. All right. And that was it, guys. Um, we really wanted to talk about the correspondence dinner because it, was it, good. it, was it good. covered a lot of things we've been talking about. Yeah. Questions that we've been having, and then comments that my sister and I are saying. Why Biden don't speak to this? Yeah. Why Biden don't speak to this? Why Kamala not this and this? In the correspondence dinners, they speak to it. Glenn Jackson on Facebook says, love y'all shows. Thanks, mm -hmm. Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Okay, I don't see nothing on Twitch yet, but all right. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, we did the correspondence gonna talk about Tomorrow we'll talk about would you date a bus driver. Some of y'all know y'all wouldn't, right? We'll talk about a it. certain age. We'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about I it. I got something to say about it. Well, no, think about it. We definitely going to hit on it because it's the conversation is with Ebony and Ayana. Yeah. Ebony won't date one. Right, right. She is in the news. She's famous. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. She's on um, Housewives. We are. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. No driver. Okay. Emerald says the donkey of the day was better than the last few. I agree. I know. His that one was... about the, the stripper, Stupid. that was a weak one. Don't forget to get our book, 100 Family Friendly Jokes. Um, look at it on Amazon. The description is in the. Um, I hate when you show the it. The link is in the like description. I know. Um, we do a joke of the day. If you mm -hmm. haven't seen it, go to our, our short section on our, on our YouTube. We're going to have a volume Instagram. Two coming out. Too. Instagram. Our jokes are on Instagram. Our jokes are on Twitter. Um, I think what we're going to do is to make this book interactive. I think what I want y'all to do is film yourself telling one of our jokes out of this book. Do a short for us. They may not want to do that. I said if they want to. I know, but you got to. Nobody got to do something. No, you, because uh, we've been sending an invite too for people to come on the show. Everybody yeah. don't want to be seen. If you want to be seen, I'm send yourself. To, I will think of another thing too to be interactive. Right. So think of your, uh, think of your. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You don't Making have to me mess up what I was saying. You don't have to show yourself. You can you just can read the joke. Just your voice. Yes. Telling the joke. Yes. There we you go. You can either show yourself. There you go. Show yourself or point the camera to the joke and tape yourself reading the joke. Reading it. Okay. There you go. And then you can send it to us at Woods Creation for You. Um, let me put our email in here. Woods Creation for You at Gmail. Also, Kiki, y'all uh, pray for Kiki. She's one of our um, subscribers, mm -hmm. and she y'all normally see her on here. She's been having a, um, some issues, some health issues. Yeah. So she wants y'all to pray for her and her family. And she asked, she said, y'all need to do a um, a prayer list or a prayer, a prayer, a prayer group. group. So we might end up doing that. Yeah. And at the end of the show, maybe we'll tell y'all, you know, what Give the updates, up the dates, and, updates, and what I the prayer group is. Those of you who knew, know the power of prayer and believe in the power of prayer, if we give you that name and that family or whoever you are it's it's the the more of us that are praying and believing god for a, a move right i believe things so will pray happen. for kiki um again send us if your a request if you want prayer requests i just put the email in here woods creation for you at gmail.com okay so if you want prayer requests i'm glad kiki asked us to pray we'll start that mm -hmm. send us that um and then also um 
if you want everybody to pray, if you want to keep it private with us just praying, mm -hmm. or if you want everybody to pray, because some people don't want everybody praying. They don't want their business out. Or they don't want everybody praying. You don't know everybody's prayer. You know. That's true, too. Or like, it don't matter, whatever. It don't matter. But um, it just depends. Because only God knows the heart of the Yeah, so let us so. know. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Always, Always believe. believe. And that was Another, Another Woods, Woods Report. Report. See you later. La, 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 still on.